Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to show you Brains inside TerraPro, a recently added module or extension, which is fabulous because it adds a lot of different synthesis. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. And also, if you'd like to participate in the giveaway, please do check the instruction in the video description and check that um, the giveaway is still open and the winners have not been announced, which again, you can find in the video description. Thanks a lot. So. Let's have a look uh, for this first video of how uh, Brains sounds like. And um, I'll give you a little bit of a quick introduction to the UI, and then I'm going to demonstrate some of the presets, and then I will record another video where I will show you all the different synthesis. As you can see, this is Brains open up in this first preset called Additive Brain. Here you have two columns. Each columns have uh, eight different uh, rows, which represent eight different synthesis for, for a total of 16 and you can choose one clicking for example here you see an indicator green here in the middle and then you can choose the next one clicking here which will show an, an indicator of red as you click between one to the other you can see the description here changes the description tells you what that synthesis does but it also tells you what these three dials harmonics timber and morph do in relation to the synthesis which you have selected. Brains has also an auxiliary output, and again, it is explained in the description here what that does. You can adjust frequency, you can do modulation, of course, and you can modulate also these three parameters as well. You have a low pass uh, gate as well, which is really nice in the style of Booker. And um, and you can, uh, for that uh, low pass gate, uh, change the decay, for which, of course, you need to have a trigger here, and also the low pass gate color as well. So that is a very, very quick introduction to the UI of Brains. Now, let's have a look, let's listen to some of the presets, because they are marvelous, and you will find that you have uh, synthesis uh, which are related to granular cloud, you have synthesis for bass drum, for snare drum, you have synthesis for chord and harmonic oscillator. This one is for chord, for example. You have also a vowel speech synthesis. So here one is for particle noise. You have a resonator inside. You have a wave shaper. It's really, really, really great. Really a lot of fun. So let's start with this first one, Additive Brain. Thank you. 
And this is an example of the vowel speech synthesis, which is really nice. That is why it's called the chatterling. <laughs> Here's an example of how to use the chord synthesis. I'm purposely clicking just on single notes so you can hear the chords. This one is an example of filter noise, which is going through a resonator, which is really nice. Um, this next one is an harmonic oscillator. This one is quite clever. It gives you similar sounds of, uh, uh, for example, what Nandu, Nambu can do using uh, a resonator. In this case, you have dust noise going through that resonator, so it's really nice, the effect you get. Really, really nice. a dual classic waveform so it's a virtual analog synthesis really nice really nice <laughs> Another example of dust noise which is processed by a network of all pass and band pass filters and you can achieve amazing results of sound is really amazing so that approach is unique with this uh, um, expansion <laughs> This one is interesting because it is about frequency modulation, so you ch you have two operator FM, so really nice. Another example of vowel speech synthesis. Because it is, as the description says here, is a granular cloud, and you can you can hear that you have grains through this um, uh, this patch, this preset. <laughs> As you can see, you have a wavetable oscillator as well with four banks of 8x8 eight eight waveforms. Really, really nice. You have rows and column axis on this one. Really, really good.
Intuition gave you is the ability to create some of uh, the sound and texture, which you couldn't quite do uh, with Terra Pro before. Terra Pro is, is, was already great, is already great, but this gives something extra to Terra Pro, which uh, is excellent, which um, is those type of sounds that um, like texture, membrane, and so on, that you can now simulate that before you couldn't. Terra Pro was really, really good for um, space type of sound, so for pads, for um, ambient soundscape, fantastic. This gave the extra edge. It's really nice. See here an example of changing the color. Really great. Again, you can hear using Resonator, you can achieve fantastic results.
at the end of uh, the demonstration on the brains preset i hope you enjoyed as you can see there are lots of them and uh, i'm going to see you at the next video when we'll go deeper into all the different syntheses that brains offer see you next time thank you